as we were trying to figure out which tuner was going to be best for us, you know, we kind of, you know, thought in our head, what are the most important things to us? You know, horsepower, reliability, uh, you know, safety when it comes to, uh, you know, controlling parameters in the vehicle to make sure that, uh, you know, we're not going to blow anything up. We're not going to damage the transmission. Those are all really important things. Um, probably horsepower is number one if, uh, if you're like me. However, you know, we do want those other little things. So I kind of want to go over a couple of the tuners and just mention some we're going to kind of focus on what we decided to go with and why you know so as far as options for this uh this truck um you know you have the afe scorcher you have the stealth box um and you know you have the uh bank derringer uh tuner and that is what we are going to decide to go with the banks unit and there's a lot of reasons why we decided to go with that and probably a lot of reasons why most people are honestly going with that tuner and that's because Independent dyno testing has shown that those Derringer units are putting out the most power. Our friends over at Hardway Performance took all the tuners that were available on the market today, put them on their dyno, ran the truck stock, and that Banks unit was the most powerful. So for us, we wanted the power, but to back up that power, Banks also went above and beyond anybody else. And that's really coming down to, you know, transmission safety, uh, EGT safety, also being able to give you multiple levels of performance. You know, if you get the, uh, uh, the Banks unit with the iDash, you can get up to six power levels. We chose not to go with the iDash unit. We just wanted the switch. So we're going to get three power levels with our unit. Those three power levels are going to be a stock, um, it's going to be their plus tune, and then it's going to be their all-out power tune. Um, and in that all-out power tune, you're going to get that 61 horsepower that they described. And banks put, obviously, out dyno numbers that show that they are actually getting those numbers. And our friends over at Hardway back that up, and they're getting the exact same numbers out of their truck. So for me, you know, those safety parameters that we talked about, so that uh, added horsepower is exactly what we are looking for plus you know i like the adjustability in case we want to change it even though i'll probably be on the highest tune almost all the time just like you uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to basically take apart our l5p and get that installed the installation on this actual tuner we've installed a couple for customers already is pretty easy uh, you really uh, just have to plug it into two sensors that are underneath the hood you have to run the cable through the firewall hook it up to the obd2 port and that's one unique thing with this particular tuner that other ones aren't doing and that's actually using the OBD2 port on the vehicle and the reason they are doing that is to make sure that uh, they can monitor the PIDs make sure that EGT levels are in check all coolant levels you know this tuner won't allow you to have full power uh, until the uh, vehicle is operating at 120 degrees there's just a lot of safety parameters to make sure that the L5P and that Allison transmission are going to be a healthy for a really long time and that makes me feel better so the total installation will probably take the average person 45 minutes to an hour, um, depending on how mechanically inclined you are. But overall, the installation is too bad. There we go. Yeah, overall performance is definitely increased. We have it on, uh, obviously, the uh, the highest tune. And if you read through the manual, they're going to want you to, to basically take it up each tune, um, go through that process. They want you to start on, like, to number th stock, then three, then go to six, and uh, that's what we did. But yeah, definitely more power. Obviously, uh, we always want more. We wish it had more, but uh, it feels a lot better than it did stock. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do pick up one of these, uh, highly recommend it for uh, what's available on the market.